Uh, hello, my name is Dylan. I'm the lead developer at Hashbit, and today I'm going to show you a demonstration of EOS Wallet Pro, which is a native EOS wallet that will let you send EOS tokens and EOS once the, once the mainnet launches. Uh, so let's get started. Um, so, first, we're going to restart the server. So, it's currently running on localhost. Let's play that. Okay, so this is the uh, home page. Uh, as you can see, we're currently running on the Jungle Testnet, which is a community built testnet that's using version 4.1.0 of Dawn. Uh, and uh, everything on this wallet is interacting with the Jungle Testnet. Um, so, we go in here. And in the top right, we can see the first thing you notice is the price, which um, this updates once every 10 minutes. And down here, we've got Unlock Wallet. Uh, so you enter your account, your private key, and unlock. Uh, then we've also got a uh, scatter option. Although we don't support it yet, we should support, we will support um, scatter before the mainnet launches. We'll add support for that. Uh, then down here, we've got um, wallet creation. Then block info for the last block, the timestamp of the block, who was mined by, and the CPU limit for the block. Uh, then here we've got lookup account, which just lets you look up an account. And then down here we've got some generic uh, buttons that just link to various uh, EOS resources. Then here we've got security warning to help uh, users who are new to cryptocurrency just stay safe and uh, keep their private key secure, basically. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is account lookup. So here we can search for any uh, EOS account and it will feed us some basic info from that account. So we're going to search up an account that I made earlier called Dylan. So we look this up. This is my balance, the creation date, the bandwidth, the allocated RAM I have and the account name. Uh, this is all info from the jungle testnet. You can also search for uh, the Genesis account. There we go, and it will feed us some um, uh, info. Here we've got the RAM quota is a bit strange because it's the Genesis account. Uh, the balance is huge, obviously, because it's the Genesis account. Okay, so uh, now let's create a wallet. So we can enter some random characters, and uh, using CPU entropy, it will generate a random key for you. Uh, CPU entropy is pretty, it's uh, pretty much accepted as a secure random number generator algorithm. It's uh, that's uh, one of the most secure. Um, so here it generates a public key for us and a private key, uh, but because of the way EOS works, it's not like other cryptocurrencies where you can send EOS tokens just to the public key. On EOS, each public key is associated an account, and you actually send uh, EOS to the account, not the public key. But generating an account requires that the parent account stakes EOS, and uh, for an account faucet that uh, opens up quite a lot of attack, ve uh, attack vectors for generating an account. So we're still currently trying to find a way to do secure account generation without an attacker uh, depleting our resources and then just not, and then no one else being able to create an account with us. So for now, if you click on generate account, it will take you to the jungle testnet monitor site where you can uh, create an account. So we'll create one, let's call it test uh, 444. I'm going to copy the public key here. Paste the public key here and here. Create account. And this has just created an account for us. So now we can log in. So uh, if we save the private key here, just put it. Um, now we can log in to our account. So test 444 into your private key. Unlock. And here we have our RAM usage but everything else is zero because we don't have any, uh, any um, tokens or EOS yet. So we can click here, get coins, and this is the uh, um, testnet faucet, so we can get some free coins from the jungle testnet. Um, so let's just test 444, send coins. So this has just sent us 1,000 EOS and 1,000 jungle tokens. And now if we come in here, we refresh here, Copy the private key here. Okay, we've got it. Private key test 444. Log back in, and we can see we've got 1000 jungle tokens and 1000 EOS that's been given to us. So uh, now I'm going to show you how a transaction works. So um, if we create a new account here, so we open up another instance of the wallet, create a new account. 
we're going to transfer EOS to this account. So we're going to call this account uh, test222. Uh, copy, paste the uh, public key. So this created a new account for us. Now let's copy the private key here. Let's see. Let's save the key here. So that's test. Just so we can remember which one's which. Okay. Uh, so now we can here yeah, test222. Paste the private key, unlock, and see this account has zero tokens again. So we go here and we send some tokens to test222 from the test444. And let's say we want to send 9.123 EOS. Do send transaction, and that's sent. That's our transaction ID. Um, and now if we come over here, we refresh. Okay, we log back into test222. Um, copy, copy the private key here. We log back into test two two two, and as you can see, we have nine point one two three EOS, and we have now have a CPU limit, RAM usage, uh, RAM allocation, uh, bandwidth, and the date uh, our account was created. Um, we can also send tokens. So uh, we have one thousand jungle tokens. Once you log in, it will automatically scan for your token. Uh, EOS Wallet Pro will automatically scan for your token balances. And then um, display them for you. So we can now send we can send jungle tokens. So let's say we want to send 76 uh, jungle tokens. We can do send transaction, and that has sent to test 222. We refresh here. Okay, got it. It's here. Test 222. Unlock and 76 jungle tokens. You see this. <laughs> The speed of EOS is really amazing. I, I cannot believe how fast it is. But um, every time, it just it's just amazing. But um, So that's sent 76 jungle tokens. It would have confirmed within uh, 0.5 seconds plus latency of broadcasting the transaction. So uh, um, we can also look up our account again. So we look up, let's look up test 444. See, they have 990 EOS and uh, that's our account. So we need to, the, this balance here won't update until you refresh, log out and log back in. So if we refresh, okay, log back into test 444, our balance is updated. Uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, this here, unlock wallet. See on the front page here, we have to enter our account and private key. This is because in Dawn 3.0, Block 1 removed the ability to do a public key account lookup. So you have to manually enter your account and then your private key and then unlock. But um, uh, I talked to Dan in the Telegram group. He said before EOS 1.0 launches, they will add back in public key account lookup. So which means you won't have to enter your account. We'll remove that. You just have to enter your private key and it will automatically look up all the accounts associated with the public key that the private key unlocks. Uh, and I want to talk about the security of EOS Wallet Pro. So your, when using EOS Wallet Pro, your private key is only stored temporarily locally on your browser. It's never broadcast across the network or shared with anyone. So how does that work? Well, basically, when you make a transaction, you say who you want to send it to, so you say blah, blah, and then you say you want to send nine uh, EOS tokens. Um, it will send that information back to the EOS Wallet Pro web server, which will... Uh, connect to um, a full node and um, get the block info, the details, it will generate a transaction, then it will send the transaction back to the browser, then within the browser you'll sign a transaction with your private key, then send the signed transaction back to our servers which will broadcast the transaction to the network. So your private key is only stored in the browser and every time you refresh uh, the private key gets wiped, it gets removed and you have to enter it again. Uh, so uh, yeah, my name is Dylan, I'm the uh, lead developer at Hashbit, and uh, this was a demonstration of eoswalletpro.com. We will be launching this site later today in a few hours, so uh, stay tuned and then you guys can test it out on the testnet and let us know about any bugs or anything, and then we'll uh, try to improve it. So before the testnet launches, uh, before the mainnet launches, we will, we should also, we're aiming to have Scatter uh, working and uh, an account um, faucet working. 
thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll see you later when you're testing out the wallet later today.